Hey, what's up guys? Just another quick video I thought I'd share with you folks. I wanted to hardwire my uh, radar detector, which is just one of these older, um, you can't quite see the text. Anyway, one of these older um, escort units, escort 360 max. So I got tired of having the cable kind of come down from the dash from underneath the center console and like kind of just be dangling. So I ended up hardwiring this. And while I was in this process, I figured I'd share with you how to do it without spending much money at all. So first of all, you got to get the hardwire itself, which is a RJ11 plug, which is something like that. This is an RJ11. And you can buy this on Amazon or even the manufacturer of your um, radar detector unit. But essentially you got to run that wire and clip it just kind of tuck it underneath this if you just give it some pressure it'll tuck right underneath right through here you can see right there i kind of missed that spot i'll get to that later but just tuck it up 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 and all the way and uh pull this uh, a pal a pillar panel off just be careful it comes off pretty easily but you do have an airbag right there so be careful with that and run the wire so you run the wire, you tuck it in, run the wire all the way down, 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 down to here. You take off these panels, which is this one, however way this goes, that way. And then you take off this panel, which is covers over here. And you run the wire all the way down, you pull this off. Be careful with this, it's a little tough, but it, you know, these things don't really break. Um, and right there, you see a plug. So there's this plug, which I didn't think the 2023 Austin builds had. Like there was a risk because they did change up this interior a bit that they might not have this plug. This is, by the way, the plug for a tow equipped vehicle. So there's a harness that goes in here for tow, um, for uh, cars equipped with the tow hitch. So essentially all it is is uh, four wires. So I'm going to try to... See if you guys can see that. Hang on, get a better angle here. Tough to do this with one hand. Um, okay. Can you see that? Okay. So this is a plug for the tow hitch and it's uh, four pins. So the one that you wanna grab, which is a 12 volt, is let's say you know it's four plug so there's there's gonna be one two three and four I don't actually know what the pin the pin out numbers are but I'm just gonna call it one two three and four so four of them what what you want is one and two so you want the one I'm calling number two which is on this corner that is actually really easy to identify because it is the only red wire coming out here Right there. So Tesla made it easy. It's going to be that red wire. At least I hope it is for your build because it is for mine. <laughs> you know, Tesla's change all the time. So what I ended up doing was I just um, routed the wire all through here, looped it up with a zip tie and picked up the ground from this uh, ground loop right there. So it's pretty easy. So you will probably, you know, I ended up taking up, taking off just up until here or so. But here are the tools that I use. Obviously, I had a multimeter to make sure that was 12 volts. It actually ends up being like 15.5 volts, but um, I think that should be fine. Your unit should be capable of, I think, up to like 18 volts. Somewhere between operating range of my guess only is probably like, you know, 11 to 18 volts, somewhere around that range. Um, there is one clip that you need to take off. So I had a panel popper. These plastic ones come in really handy. And a crimper. And I ended up using just a, a uh, connector that looks like this. I'm sorry guys, it doesn't wanna focus very well. But this was really the only cost outside of the wire harness itself. So you don't really need these pliers, but I just had them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm not responsible if you end up bricking your car, <laughs> but, you know, I've been working on cars for a while and I'm comfortable doing this. I didn't, I didn't want to wait to buy the, if you go on eBay, they do sell the four pin plug for this. So the, the pigtail, you can just buy that. It's like 20 bucks. It wasn't about the money for me. I just didn't want to wait that long because I had to have a trip that we're going on. 
um, in the next few hours here. So anyway, hope that helps. I'm not gonna button it up while you're on camera or while I'm on camera or we're on camera, um, but hopefully that helps you out. All right, talk to you later.